Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I'm joined tonight by Christian. What up? And uh, Anna Cosplay here, uh, Michael. I don't know how Anna usually intro- int- you know, introduces herself, or I would have tried to mimic it. <laughs> I'm not sure either. It's, hello, something like that. I can't do her voice well. Her voice is way higher than mine. <laughs> yeah, so tonight uh, Anna was not able to make the show, so we decided to move the Botropolis set um, to next week. So I apologize to those people who were eagerly anticipating it for this evening. Uh, you'll have to wait for another week. So, But this um, week is super cool because we yeah. got advanced copies of a Netflix pack. What? <laughs> it's oh. Optimus Primal and Rat Trap, right? <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, it looks. Just, I was gonna say that's ribbing. That that exact set is the words. exact same thing, pretty much, right? I mean, I I am sure that you know Peter or Paul or whatever will come on and be like, no, it is not the same thing. As you can tell, like the shade is slightly darker on the Netflix versions, like. And of course, the box variant and all that kind of thing. So. It's really Long hard to block. tell. Like, <clears throat> you can't really. I mean, the pictures either have like metallic paint on them, or they're just photoshops. <laughs> it, who knows? They mostly look exactly like them. I think it's mostly just going to be a Netflix box, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, I'm curious to see because it seems odd if they're like very slight, you know, differences. Can't believe they missed the opportunity to do Universe Optimus Primal, but that's neither here nor there. Right, right. Like when when you found out that they were doing a repaint, you're like, oh okay, I'm 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 down. And then you're like, oh wait, this isn't the repaint I want. It's exactly the same. If it was like toy colors, that makes sense. If it was right. you know um, skeleton burning, another thing, Universe. Would and be I'd even go for optimal. like the the blue. Uh, the blue print. Yeah, that yeah. thing. That's the one I was left out. Yeah, any of those, great. Exact same thing? No. I'm, no. No thanks. Hard so, pass. Randall seems to think that we like already covered these guys. I, I don't think we did, did we? Uh, it didn't we happen. We talked about them on OOF. Yeah, that no, that's, that's the thing. Is we had on, it was ouch. We, we've had, <laughs> like, we've talked about them on other shows, but that's kind of the case on a lot of this stuff, so... And if anyway. you did talk about him, I wasn't here. You yeah. It's a rarity for Michael to be here, so. Right. I'm well, we needed to have our resident Beast Wars expert here. That's <laughs> being a little too... I, I'm sure there are people who know a lot more about it than me. I'm just a junkie on it. I just wanted to see the look on Christian's face or whatever. When I'm like, yeah, we had to pull out a Beast Wars expert. Like, Just kidding, Christian. <laughs> I'm... Michael is very good at Beast Wars. He, he's an expert. Right, but I was like saying that you're not necessarily the Beast Wars That's expert. That's okay. I'm saying. I mean, I am, but I didn't take offense at him. Right. So, I, I am not by any means. So, I, I'm like the newbie on it. I, I'm like Paul or, you know, whatever kind of thing. Where it's That's because you're old. I know. Michael and I grew up with this as kids. That's the difference. I woke up every morning in the fourth grade to watch Beast Wars on TV at 6 a.m. Fox Kids. I, ca- I caught mine after school at 4 o'clock on Fox Kids. Man, kids these days, just think. Like, they can just push a button. Oh, those were the days. days. It was watch... great. <laughs> you talking about that with my sister watch last cartoons, night. Come home, watch cartoons. Oh, it was great. The, the power block, if you got home at the right time, I could watch... Digimon and Beast Wars, and then for some reason Seventh Heaven, like that was on after that. Exactly, and then go outside and play. And go outside and play. Amazing. And now Why do you have an arm on your wall? I just noticed it. I have an background. arm on my wall. Oh, it looks like right. a hand in the background. 
Oh, over there. Oh, it's the pa- it's like the gauntlet. It's the Infinity the... Gauntlet in my kitchen. Yeah, just from case. this <laughs> angle, it looks like a severed arm. It's like you have like a zombie yeah, arm you know, on, your, on your wall, and I'm like, what's when going you're on? Playing, you never know when you're going to need to rearrange the entire universe, so I keep it there just in case. <laughs> That's why I zoomed in earlier. Like, what is that? Yeah, yeah once you moved it, I could tell it was the Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity gauntlet but <laughs> certain angles just make it look like a severed like zombie hand. I have other stuff on this side too, just oh, in case. Man. I need to get some you never cool know. stuff on my walls. I don't have cool stuff on my walls. If it weren't for the glare, you could see I have three posters of Transformers the movie behind me. Yeah. They have British, American, and Japanese posters. I'm that cool. Can you tell I'm single? <laughs> right. Hey. If you can That's find that. if, if I you so can find someone this. Who accepts you for your Transformers movie posters and Avengers cosplay stuff? I mean, that's the goal, man. That's the dream. The you know, else is the dream for us finally to get to our topics tonight. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, we don't have Anna here to keep us on topic. So, all right. So we're starting with Rat Trap, I suppose. Look at this cute little mouse face, and I think he's a mouse and not a rat because I'm familiar with rodents. But look at him; he's so cute. He's definitely not the dumpster rat that the Generations one was. No. That, that was more was, of a capybara anyway. That one was feral. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, he's a little tiny mouse. Yeah, pretty we got cute. the... Uh, he doesn't have much articulation in this Turns part, into a... Okay. No, turns into a little tiny... Little tiny robot. And that's I mean, a very accurate robot. Oh. He bends at the knees and under the knees. Yeah, those legs have to fold up and become his beast mode legs, so they fold up in a really kooky kind of way. Which makes him sometimes also, just lean backwards. Which is fine, I guess. I'd rather have that articulation than not. He also comes strapped, because you have to shove his gun onto his beast mode leg. There's no place to store it, it just hangs out here. I had to confirm that with Michael before the show. I was like, where does this go? Just strapped to his leg. He's cute. I don't think he's a better toy than the old generations one, but he fits in the scale, so I'm happy to have him. Also, Rat Trap was my favorite Beast Wars character, so I'm happy to have him anyway. I'll get him. I'll dissent. Because I'm not a huge fan of the generations. I don't hate it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I think I like this one better. Um... Just because I think he pulls off, like, he looks far more Rat Trap, I think, than the Generations one. Um, yeah. I but yeah, that, the, I think that one's more playable because it's, I don't know, I like its articulation and stuff better. I mean, it's This one too, definitely is so. work in the, in the Beast Moon. They're both good. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I have, like, two versions, three versions of it. I think, nice. like, I don't, I don't hate it, but I like, like I said, I, I make the joke that he looked like a feral rat. He kind of did look like a feral rat. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Like, and and let's face it, Rat Trap was cute in the show. He's a cute little rat. He was not this cute though. This is this is no. a different face for him. This is like an actual mouse face as opposed to a CGI yeah. face, which. Eh. I would have liked that CGI model. His tail is oh, also unpainted. It should be a pink. It's just I just straight. realized his gun. Uh, I was. I just noticed a little spot in his back. His gun does store in his back in robot mode, at least. That's nice. But uh, unfortunately, just on the leg and in beast mode. I'd be really curious if Anna would be annoyed by this figure because the shoulders on him, like in robot mode, like. Are, are kind of, like, attached to his back instead of, like, his body, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I think they still function appropriately. Oh, it still functions fine. I'm just saying I could see her being annoyed by that. That is a thing that would annoy the Annas of the world. I mean, I think overall, yeah. like, the articulation, I think, in robot mode is, is pretty good. I think my only real complaint is I, I wish these feet... Uh, articulated a little bit more. Yeah, they're on ball joints, which is fine, 
But if they were on you know, ankle rockers or something, I think that would have been better. It's a it's a ten dollar figure though. It's you know right. small, teeny tiny. I'm sure there's budget constraints where that's concerned. It still has a little bit of articulation, just bit. not a lot. But I mean, yeah, everything's on ball joints. Like all the all the joints are ball joints. <laughs> yeah. So they, in that regard, a lot of them feel, or especially this one, feels like an old Beast Wars toy. Because yep. it's just all ball joints. Um, and, you know, and if, if all of us, rem- those of us that grew up with them definitely remember, you like, I used to take my Beast Wars and, and the ball joints would just pop them off to, for damage, right? Like, mm-hmm. like that was just the thing you did. So having a bunch of ball joints is, is kind of like super nostalgic in that sense. Um, not that I've tore this guy apart, but... There's no harm in it. Like, I can take his leg off and it'd be fine. I used to do it and try to recombine them into different configurations with other robots. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> it also didn't work. The ball joints were not a uniform size. Yeah, no. But yeah, it's... Uh, I think the biggest thing about this guy that... Um, that maybe is just a detriment to him is... Um, is the shoulders. But I, it's not so much for the, with the way they connect. It's just sort of that they don't, like... I th- wish they just sort of tabbed into place because they, they rock forward on you when you're moving them around. But like, I think he's a really solid figure. And like I said, he's 10 bucks and he looks great. And uh, he has a good little, good little beast mode, even if it has no articulation whatsoever. There is one thing I wish that the beast were the, the beast mode, sorry, beast mode would do. And the old generations figure could do it, but it, you know, I wish he could stand up on his hind legs and, you know, put his head forward, like, because he does that in the show a ton, so I feel like it's part of his character being expressive in beast mode, and this one just can't do it. I think you can get, like, a little bit of a weird head forward, can't you? But it sort of makes the robot head start coming out of his back. Yeah, it breaks breaks the sculpt. Yeah. And then, of course, his hands just stay there (laughs) because they are molded. Not articulated. Yeah, I think that that would be my one complaint on this is that the you know beast mode doesn't really have much articulation. But again, for ten dollars, I think it's an interesting transformation too. Like, I don't know, I don't know what I was I was expecting, but like I, I thought it was you know it's kind of like you um, I don't know it's more interesting than some of the older Legends figures. He feels appropriately sized as well, especially in, in robot mode compared to like primal, which is where you would want to have him. So yay! Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the sizing has been spot on. I feel with the the whole kingdom line for the at least the Beast Wars, um, the yes. the scale looks fantastic. Love it. Kind of cool. Because we're going to get to them next. but you Yeah, know. just yeah, you put them together real quick. Yeah. That looks right to me. Hey, if you put them up here, he's riding up on... Yeah. Does, does this Primal have the ports for that? I know that MB does. Uh, no, I don't think no. there's anything special there. Um, oh, well. But yeah, I mean, but like, the criticism for this beast mode, like, I feel like you mentioned MPs like the MPs I feel like also largely usually have like very limited articulation so like I can definitely forgive like limited articulation as beast mode for oh sure a tiny little ten dollar figures right I don't know you know it, it's funny with these I don't know I, I, I love we all love to compare the mainline and masterpiece but like I feel like all these beast wars they're just they're a lot different than the master for sure. Like yes. On, on all of them. Like, I don't know. I just, it feels like there's a bigger difference between like, to me at least between these and the masterpiece and the, um, you know, like the, the other generation stuff, the G one stuff. Um, but part of it is, is that the MP is doing the, um, show aesthetics, you know, so closely. And these are kind of like a mix of like the toy and the show. So, and just general generation style update. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They accomplish different tasks. You're right. But 
I appreciate that. I think it's. Good. I wonder if he's going like to have it's... a Brooklyn accent in the show. <laughs> he won't. He'll have some generic accent. He, actually, he probably won't even appear in the show. He's smaller than Deluxe, so. Yeah, that's true. But he's. This is supposed to be a show accurate two pack. My show accurate well, two pack here. Heat stroke and heartburn were show accurate too. <laughs> So, but yeah, no, I think it was good for 10 bucks. Yeah, I think you should get him. He's, he's neat. If you don't have a retro app, go get him. If you are having trouble, I guess wait for the Netflix one because it comes with Primal 2, whatever. Same figure. You can also get the reissue later this year. That'll be fun. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Duh. The original Beast Wars reissue, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, what? They're, yeah. they're bringing they're bringing the Kingdom guy out again. Like, I didn't, I haven't seen those waves. Oh well, we're getting Kingdom Wheeljack. <laughs> he can join all the Netflix Wheeljacks that are still on the shelves in my area. I know, right? Like, I, I went around the other day um, uh, to a couple different WalMarts, and it was all blurs and Wheeljacks. That's all it was. Mod Cyberverse Warriors. Yeah, those were always around. Like they had the whole, the whole wave with all of the build a figure parts again. Like my Walmart has yeah. every single one of them. Well, there you go. Now, what about Primal? Primal is great. I love him so much. Monkey, monkey, monkey. you. It's monkey. kind of amazing. I mean, you know, whatever. It's like the toy, but it. it it's amazing that it does all the things. Um, most of the things. Well, mo- yeah, a lot of the things. What things does it not Don't, do? It doesn't do the mace. Eh. Or the missile launcher. I, I don't know. I always really like those gimmicks. But other than that, yes, he does the appropriate things. And look... We talked about the MP a second ago with you know, the ports on the back for Rat Trap and whatnot. This one doesn't have that, but you know what it does have? Freaking sculpted fur. I wasn't that necessarily does. sold on this when the first pictures came out, but man, is it so cool in person. It's great. Like The MP one is all smooth, and it looks like a CGI model because those came out, came out in 1996, and that's what CGI looked like in 1996. This looks incredible. Yeah, I agree. It's nice, and <clears throat> and like I'm sort of glad. Like it's kind of cool that they on like Megatron that they did the rubber, but I'm sort of glad that it seems to be the only case so far. Um, yes. Because and like there, there's spots on here where I would have like I wouldn't have been surprised had they tried to use rubber just to you know keep areas like I don't know like. The Generations Rhinox, they had areas that they made rubber that I think was just to make the transformation easier, but um, I'm so glad that this is just, like, all hard plastic. Um, but, yeah, the, the detailing's cool. Um, and his, I, I really, I like his, like, his grumpy face. Yeah. He's a big grump. It's like, it's, uh, it's a nice blend between... Um, like old and new. I mean, it feels like a Generations figure for sure. Like, take the old, make it new, give it the more like "quote unquote" realistic looking beast mode. Um, and he pulls off like he pulls off the straight stand up. He pulls off the squat. Um, it's a good figure. And it, it has agree. paint in all the right places too. I mean, the chest. You know, like paint looks really nice, you know, like on the ankles and the knees and whatnot. One thing you do have to watch out is, is I think that um, on the thighs or whatever, you can get some paint rub. Um, I bet on that white paint. Yeah, that seems yeah. like it would rub. Yeah. His head My... sculpt, though, is perfect. Look at that. Boom. Perfect. Yes. It's exactly like the show. Oh yeah, I mean, I think I feel like they've nailed the head sculpts for all these. Oh, um, 
and primal primal definitely um i will say that like i, I say this about every i think there's only one optimus primal figure that i haven't said this about now that i own it and that's the uh the 10th anniversary one um the cyber cybertron figure it does mostly do all the same things that the original one does, and that's not a bad thing. <laughs> that like, toy was amazing. Like it's it's like the perfect trans. I mean, obviously they base the transformation on the toy, but it's just it works so perfectly. And I mean, that's basically what they've done here. It's got some extra bits. It does a few things that um, others haven't necessarily done, but overall, it's like don't break what isn't broken right i mean there's a reason that was the only vintage mold that was issued in the lg line because yeah. it still holds up i have so many versions of that toy i've thought about mold completing that we'll that's see. a good one but yeah I, I think the only thing like obviously he's smaller so unlike the original his swords obviously they don't store inside of him no, but they, they do store in the back. The spots to store they, them yeah, on his back. yeah, there's spots on the back to store them, which is nice. And they're painted this time around, which is nice. They are. Yeah, I mean, supposedly that's there's a white paint. variant. I mean, look at that. Ooh, nice silver paint. Yeah, I'd be curious. Like the white variant was that though? Like, was that like an initial run or? I don't know. Or... I I haven't seen like widespread anything widespread about it uh, maybe it was just like the factory like maybe maybe the netflix one will come with white swords who knows i don't think i've seen that yeah there was a news story once that um about uh primal coming with white uh a variant out there coming with white swords oh, um it's hard. You can never tell if you have one in the store or not because, you know, his swords are tucked away in the dark recesses of the box. But, uh, yeah. Weird. All right. Minor silver. They're still cool, though. I like them yeah, a lot. Yeah, minor silver, too. He's just expressive and, uh, let's see, did anyone have those arm cannons out? Because he has his prime yeah. cannons. Or what are they called that in the show? I can't remember I don't think he ever calls them anything. Um, maybe in uh, well, he only showed up in like for like five minutes in the and Beast Wars second, but um, I can't remember if he ever calls his blasters anything. Yeah, they come out of his arm. They're cool. I f I will say the one thing about his transformation is getting this out where his head is. Yeah. Sometimes you ju he just like. It took me a while to convince myself to just go for it when I first transformed him, because that's really what you got to do. You just got to just, you know, pull it out. It'll pop out. It feels like you're being a little t rough with it, but it it doesn't look like there's anything that you can actually break by, you know, just giving it a good, uh, a good a bit of force to pull it out. Yeah. That mechanism also leaves a nice gap from above in bot mode. Just yeah, don't I think look that's at the it. Only thing that's kind Sorry. Of annoying. Yeah, I mean, there's only so many things they could do. So just right. don't don't display your figures laying down. I guess. Um, <laughs> you know, I like to display my all my figures army crawling. And, and I guess if you do do that, the uh, chest is on a a swivel here, not a swivel, a hinge, a pin, so you can rotate it into place, and it's like, oh, now it's covered. So, yeah. I do wish his robot mode had could point up for a flight. Yes. And I wish he had some sculpted prime jets on his back. He does not. Yeah, that would be cool too. But I'm not, not maybe he won't ever fly in the Netflix show, right? <laughs> yeah. But other oh, yeah. than you know those little things that are missing, I mean, Michael, would you say this is our dude? Because this feels like our dude to me. It is it is. Like this thing is unquestionably like a, a fantastic Optimus Primal. Like, I don't think, I don't think I would ever say, you know, oh yeah, this, this, you, you know, you don't need the masterpiece. This is perfect. But I don't think if you had to make the choice, you would ever 
be disappointed with making this choice over the masterpiece. And that that's the thing for me. Like, this is the figure that it's like, I don't feel bad about selling my masterpiece with this one. Like, some of the other ones, like, we haven't done Cheetor yet, but, you know, it, like, at least the mainline Cheetor is, is not anywhere close to the masterpiece but like this one like obviously the style is a lot different and all that but again it does a lot of the same things that the masterpiece does like it's a little different aesthetic um with the with the fur and whatnot but uh but yeah i don't know i'm, I'm pretty happy with this guy overall it's a very solid you know figure and i think again like if you're only going to get a handful of beast wars figures like i think if you're you know a lot of people might just get primal and and uh, Megatron and whatnot. I mean, this is like they're, they're both solid figures. Yep. I've sold my masterpiece Primal three times. I'm my fourth copy, I think. I keep getting it because it's like, oh man, I really need to have, you know, the leader from my childhood. I need that that specialness. And really, this fulfills that for me. Like, I could probably sell my fourth Primal. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, this is the one for my collection. I was gonna say that masterpiece though isn't be- like because it's only like a hundred bucks or something like that, right? I mean, I say only hundred dollars, yeah. but like in comparison to other masterpiece figures, you know, it looks like a I got my my latest copy for much much less. Yeah. So. But uh, but yeah, no. This yeah, is this is before software. that price hike too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, this yeah, has I, all I, the articulation would... that you'd want. Like it has, it has the way swivel. You know, Plus it has the butterfly articulation. Yep. Oh yeah, the butterfly is like it doesn't need to be there, but because it's there, it, it like it just gives him a little extra articulation to pull off like the gorilla pose, yep. and uh, and to you know get some nice range of motion on his arms. It's very much appreciated. Now, he is short compared to a lot of the Voyagers I've seen. That's okay. But But he's not a tall fellow. He scales, like, perfectly. And he has almost... He has... I'm not going to say almost. He pretty much has no hollow parts. Yeah, except that chest thing we showed, which is... Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, this is because the cavity is... Either filled with a gorilla head or it's filled with a, right. a robot head. Other than that, yeah, no hollow parts. Yeah. Really, I, I think this is probably one of the best value figures you could possibly get because it's got a really great bot mode. It's got a really great um, beast mode. The paint is good. The articulation is great. It comes with accessories. I just, I can't. I mean, I, for a thirty dollars toy, I can't really fault it for anything. Yep. Oh, definitely no. It's Randall says uh, you give him a burning convoy, which I agree. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, I'll take it in every color it comes in, but I have Me a too. sickness. So, universe first, I think, please. But you know, they seem to have a real desire to do burning for some reason. Yeah, but I take it's it. I take it that. I, sure. I do the skeleton one if they wanted to do that for some reason. I would do toy colors. I would do the blue one, like you mentioned. If they wanted to do the Cybertron brown colors, I'd I'd get that too. Every single one, just keep keep giving it to me. Hundred percent. Ape link. I hope I'm waiting for a Transmetal to do that, but if they don't, man, can you imagine tomorrow we get new Transmetals? How crazy would that be? Uh, That's the rat job I want, especially if it has really nice paint really nice like that nice metallic like paint. right not the chrome but yeah yeah that paint. is it say vac metal i don't want to live that nightmare metal. every time i Unless take they somehow my... made it work i don't know right. every time i go to take my beast wars out and i lightly dab it to get rid of the dust because i don't want the flakes to start coming off oh dude you gotta get some future on that the future seals it in yeah i, I have a few that are probably beyond doing that but i have some that are still pristine and i should do that i did that to my shocker rack because he's notorious for it and the one i've got was still okay had like two or three flakes i was like future 
steal it. And it my, works. Uh, my rampage is just flaking all over the place. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm about to find some better specimens at some point, but I hope we get new transmetals. Or, you know, there was that rumor that the reissue line was going to be transmetals, not the original ones. And uh, I kind of wish that had come true. I mean, there's always maybe a chance, so well. right? Like, if they if this one goes well, maybe they'll be like, oh yeah, well here's season two reissues. I'll take oh. a Megatron that's not broken in half. I was going to say, it probably nice. depends on what molds they have. Yeah. Well, and has that one been permanently altered with uh, Predacon. Minicon symbols or Minicon ports? Maybe. But if it is, I would still take it. 100%. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sure people would. There would be some people that would freak out by it, but I would just be happy to have it not break in half. I got the Japanese one, so it doesn't, but yeah, yeah. it would be nice to have a, a better one. Phil says he wants and a, a new, new one. silver bolt. Yeah. 100%. Whatever the they want to bring silver out of bolt's not first. bad, though, but I would like one that I could just fold his wings down. Yes. He takes up so much space. He usually has a point of up in the air. And that just looks funny. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the Beast Wars figures that we've gotten so far. We'll cover Cheetor and Black Arachnia at some point. Probably Dinobot once we all have them. But really, keep bringing if they're all going to be as good as Rat Trap and Primal, you know, keep bringing them out. I will get, I'll get every single one of them. I think Din- Dinobot is looking pretty good too. So people seem to enjoy him. I'm excited to see him. So, but yeah, no, I, I would agree. It's pretty good. I, I'm Ooh, not, yeah. Look at you. Oh, is it everyone, everyone but me? It's sword is me. purple, yeah. though. Sword is purple. Oh, I, was yeah, like, Chris, I got getting... really lucky. I went to Walmart, and they had a single one sitting there. And he was just glowing. And there was one. Oh! Nice. And I was like. I, I went to a Walmart I... the other day, and there was eight of them. Oh. I've seen that when hunting for Netflix stuff, but I got mine for Amazon pre-order that has it was like five dollars off. So I'm waiting for my discount. Yeah, I did that, but like I said, I have a sickness. <laughs> it's okay. We all have a sickness. I was just able to to fend that one off for a little bit. I was gonna do that, but then Paul sent me mine because I forgot to cancel them. So I was like, yeah, there, there we are. That was Paul's already sending those out. They sent out my Did Inferno you... and, and Dinobot, yeah. I need to find the Deluxes, man. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen the, the Deluxes. But... Air Razor. Yep. Mm, she looks good, too. Fantastic. I, I hope at the fan that, event so. uh, next weekend or whenever that is. Two weeks? I think event. Two weeks. Anyway, that they announce more Beast Wars figures. I know we've seen the leaks and stuff, but man, I'm just really hoping for like Tarantulas and Pterosaur and Scorponok and that'll finish out season one. Yeah, I think we, I mean, we know or we, we've seen rumors, right, of uh, Waspinator and Waspinator, Waspinator and Tigertron and Scorponok, I think. Oh, Scorponok, Scorponok is yeah. on the posters. And so Rhinox. is Tigertron and so is Rhinox. Um, I think the only one that's not on the posters, which kills me inside, well, only two, is Inferno mm-hmm. and Pterosaur. I think in my list I substituted Scorponok for Inferno. I know they're different. I just forgot who, who was where. Yeah. Yeah, that Inferno. Mm. I tried to put Primal back, and he knocked over all the other Beast Wars oh. figures. <laughs> wow. A bit of a bully. What was the primal upgrade kit? Ron said that he has his on the way. What, what's that come with? Do you know? I thought I saw one that came with some bananas. I don't know. Is it just like a weapon upgrade kit? I don't. I don't think I've seen it. I've seen the Cheetor one that come that's just with his weapons, but I don't yeah. think I've seen a primal one. Yeah, I haven't either. Maybe it would come with the mace. That'd be kind of cool. Also, Paleo Trex's head is primal's mace, so you can do <laughs> with that what you will. Yeah, I was gonna try to replicate a the predator 
like artwork where he's holding like the skull up. Mm. With... <laughs> it's not as easy to pull off as I thought it was going to be because his is he's got such a stubby little like spinal cord. Ron says it comes with the banana, the mace, and the mutant mask. Uh, oh, mutant mask would be cool. And I love those mutant masks. I'm glad that we're getting the, uh, the with the reissues that we're getting the the actual like the original heads and not the the retooled heads um, for the 10th anniversary. Those retooled heads are really good, but it it's definitely good to have the original. I, I actually those. never had them as kids. I didn't have the, oh, yeah? the Primal Megatron. Oh, I didn't either. Um, I got them much later. <laughs> so, like, having them in a, a new and getting to open them and stuff, that's going to be fun. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm excited. I think it's all I've got, Lucas. Yeah, I, I would recommend them as well. I, I think it was, you know, it's a good line. So, Michael, you got anything else? If you love Beast Wars, buy all of them. If you don't love Beast Wars, buy them and try them out. And you might love Beast Wars. Megatron is really freaking cool. It could be like me, and this is my Beast Wars representations because I don't want to pay for the masterpiece. So. That's fine. You know what? I think that's 100% fair. Because they look... They're almost spot on. Their beast modes are off, but who cares? Their robot modes are pretty much spot on. Actually, I think the furthest one off is Megatron, but that's okay. Yeah. He's also really cool, and he's got rubber skin. I just hope that doesn't dry rot. <laughs> but... We'll see. And he's going to come out as T-Rex. Have you seen oh. the images? It's so maroon. It looks oh. beautiful. I love him so much. I love T-Rex way more than I love Megatron. I know that's just a weird thing to say, but no, the, that Dinobot line holds it's a, a superior a nice color. place in my The heart. color scheme is 100% superior. He's so cool. It's a special place in, in here for the Dinobots. Those Dinobots. All Dinobots, really. Yeah. Rob says he keeps all of his Beast Wars MP in Beast mode, so there you go. That's cool. They have really good beast modes. It's a cheat orb. Even then, he tries really hard. So, yeah. Uh, Book club this week is going to be more than ECI twenty eight through thirty. So they're starting season two of that. That wow. is um, nine thirty Eastern, eight thirty Central on Sunday nights on the TF Talk Discord. So. Yeah, I don't know if we're getting Beast Machines toys or not. Or like, have there been any other leaks for other Beast Machines? Not so far. There's okay. only one Beast Machines that anyone ever liked, and that was Tankor, and they made Tankor. Yeah. And Jetstorm's so, amazing. Yeah, Jetstorm's cool. He's just hard to pull what? off if they make him accurate. I really wish they had. Here's the red line to make a Botanica. That seems like where she would live, but no. I'd pay money we got, for it. We got awkwardly colored Cheetor instead. The T-Rex uh, Mer- is Beast Machines, right? T-Rex is Beast Machines. A dark Cheetor, murder Cheetor. He's gonna get you. He's he's like the evilest Cheetor on the planet. Like they're coming evil. out. They're coming out with the cutest little bumblebee. Like, and they give me, they give my boy Cheetor the nastiest looking face of the world. He's like from the dark universe. He's here to kill childhoods. <laughs> yeah. And take over the Predacons. Sad. <laughs> yeah, Botanica should go to the red line. I'll fight anyone on that. 100%. We need a Botanica figure. We got. We we got a transmutate. We need Botanica now. I agree. In s- some form or fashion. She's got to happen. She's a plant. Best character on that show. There you go. Well, thanks guys for joining us, and thanks to everyone in the chat: uh, Randall, Phil, Rob, uh, Ron. 
think that's everyone tonight. So yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate it. And we will see you next week. Bye, Beast Wars.